my beautiful and amazing royals of Africa. Bolo, Boloani, my dear people. This is your queen, Antiningon, second of the name. 17 generation crown queen of the fangs and of the diasporan Africans, also known as the immortals. My dear children, this is a rather early message. I rarely record this early, but I was urged to share two important messages from two Monkosis. Yes, I have elevated them to the rank of kings because only kings speak the way they speak. Only kings have the courage to come out and say something which could sound so unpopular. Do you know why? Because when you're born king, you take charge when things start getting out of control around you. And I cannot ignore it. So these two messages were brought to me. And uh, the first one is a message to our people in Nigeria. Because no matter what we do, even when we disagree, we have to always remember that we are one. So please go ahead and watch this message from this diasporan king to his people in Nigeria. My people, make on a gather here, come hear this one. This is my way they here say Nigerians get bad president. So, we they support ECOWAS to enter Niger Republic. Say if Nigeria try to support any attack on Niger Republic, hey, say they will come finish all Nigerians. My people, no, my mouth is going to take care of I'm going to hear what you talk. Nigerians, you better be careful. You know, we as black people scatter around the world. We still remember slavery. You know? And if you want to join with the colonizers, if there's a war in Africa, a French launch any war against Africans, and you Nigerians join it, we, the black people, I know a lot of black people, would come and kill some of you Nigerians. Yeah? Any Nigerians that support this, with French, with the French government, the colonizers. Yeah? We are coming to Africa just as though people volunteer to fight in Ukraine. We are coming. We black people from the other side of the world are coming to fight and kill every Nigerians that support the French. We don't forget where we're coming from as black people. And some of you Nigerians, look at your president. Look at your whole president but when you leave nigeria you go to america you go to england you go to canada you want to act as if you're so intellectual especially try to show off an african americans when you leave when you don't have a good president just be careful if any nigerians that launch any attack on any african country we are coming to fight because we want to get rid of you who try to set us back as black people yes we are coming millions of black people gonna pour into Africa to just to kill out some of you kill both you the French who try to set back Africa in any shape or form so Nigerians you better set your government straight and don't try to set back Africa in with no colonizers because we are going to butcher you people. Because we still hung, we still angry and upset about slavery. And if you want to set back Africans that way, we are coming. We are coming by the thousands. And you already have Boko Haram there that don't support your government. So we are going to come. So just divert, just change up your ways. We are coming. Yes, we are coming. This is for Nigeria. Okay, as you could see, that king sent a straight message to the people of Nigeria. Okay, my dear people of Nigeria, as you heard, we're in critical time. This is a prophetic time in the history of our people. It's prophesied that our people are to heal, unite, and rise, and reclaim our throne in the world. Now, as you know, Africa is the base, all right? 
any descendant of Africa will suffer the humiliation, the poor treatment that goes with being African. Ask them, even those who live abroad, they try to consider themselves anything else, but they are under the African standard and our children are growing to realizing that. So this young king, you heard <laughs> barking threats. Please don't take it as threats. These are promises. And as their queen, I had to jump off my bed and come and deliver this message to you guys. In this day and age, nobody in Africa should line up with the colonizer to go and fight one of us. I understand that puppets are forced over us, but ultimately our people say, Amanla, Bayetu, Bayimbule, Ban Africa. It has always been so. So the power has always been to the people. So when we have corrupt leaders over us, making dangerous decisions, compromising the integrity and the safety of the people. Well, the people must let such leader know who really has the power, because the people do. It has always been so. So don't take it as a threat. This is a promise, okay? As you know, our children know our history, and we know exactly what happened in that region of the continent. When the other ones of us were fighting, some of you in Nigeria participated in turning our people into a commodity. As you know, many of our children who found themselves in that region in the Caribbean are direct or straight descendant of these kings that some of you betrayed in the region of Nigeria that many sold out to become chiefs, right? their blood hasn't forgotten what happened so you have a painful history to heal in that region so what you hear our son say you better take it seriously this is not a threat this is a promise and as their queen i have to deliver the message look at us in gabon gabon is one of the puppet countries of france everybody knows it our president had the nerve to put out that not only he's using our homeland as a dispatching point of the French military to go and attack others, but also this time around he had the ambition to add our sons to a contention to go to Niger. Commit the abominable. Now Gabonese, as you know, they are a handful of us, but we're threatening him. We're telling him, dare you do that. It'd be the end of your whatever you're doing that. over us. So now he's backpedaling. He sent his foreign affairs ministry to Niamey to tell them that, oh, we're ready to help. Now, don't tell me that hundreds of millions of Nigerians are completely incapable of stopping their mad dogs. Because any leaders selling us out deserve no honor, no respect from us. Let it make it clear. These fathers on the continent who are mortgaging the destinies of the African people worldwide don't expect any honor or respect from us. So ultimately people have the power over their leaders, especially Nigerian. Everybody got a hold of their cuckoos. If someone invites you in their homes and they have, a, I don't know, Radwaller, a pit bull who doesn't like strangers. That person's responsibility is to tie their animal because they know they have invited you or because they know they live around people, they live in the neighborhood, you know. They're going to do something to restrict their mad dog because if you don't do that, it looks like a setup. You have a mad animal around you and you invite people in your home and you don't restrict your animal 
you know and before you know it your guests are gonna be jumping over the table and everything and you're gonna be sitting there and say you you're not responsible of course you're responsible you know because had you have some sense or if your intentions were pure the first thing you would have done is restrict your vicious animal before you let your guests in or when you move into a new neighborhood if you know you have a vicious animal that could potentially go after people what you do you put a leash on it Okay, so it doesn't terrorize the neighborhood. In the case of Africa, is the neighborhood in Nigeria. Right. Africa is not yours. You have neighbors. We don't being slaves. Africa must rise. Africa must take its rightful place in the world. Please don't make us believe that. How many hundreds of millions of you? You have no say so, you have no power over your president. We don't believe that because Nigeria trying to participate into it is like just cutting your vicious dogs on us, which is a no-no in this day and age. So ultimately the power is in the hands of the people of Nigeria. That's how we see it. So if Nigeria sent troops to Niger, as far as we are concerned, entire Nigeria is complicit. It won't be nice to be Nigerian if you let that go. Okay, so you heard our son's message. So our son has spoken. A diaspora. Don't think they are nobody. They are under the protection of the Feng crown. All of them. They have a whole crown over them. That's why I give myself the honor and pleasure to deliver his message to you. Okay, so talk to your president my dear people of nigeria you better than that don't turn a blind eye to what is happening so please our people in nigeria take a hold of your old man please somebody hold him okay in my country gabon when someone is cuckoo let's say somebody's father is going mad before they break out of the compound and go and cause damages people say somebody hold them yes so we not only the diaspora but the entire african we are asking you to hold your president enough is enough and we know you nigerian you better than that you greater than that than being a sellout in the region you cannot afford being a sellout in the region you are our big brother. You the giant. How can you afford being a sellout or even look the other way? Right. Take your you responsibility. Know. Take control over your mad dogs. Okay? Put a leash. Tie them. Restrict them. Because we are not having that. Control your people. Control your leaders. Our okay? So let's take care of business over there. Our so take control. All right? Take control of the situation over there. We know you will. Impossible is not Nigerian. We are one. One Africa. One people. One love. It is the application, not the knowledge, that the truth becomes a part of you. May you please bow your heads. I pledge allegiance to my ancestors, my people, and Africa. Ikuzuba, the empire of the sun. I ask in your favor, may the ancestors locate you. We are Amanda. Amazed. Togoza